Father Pedro Peca personally welcomed the Pope to Acamosea, the city of friendship he built out of a garbage dump, to give dignity to those who survived by looking through the trash. Pope Francis was speechless at the reception they gave him when he entered this pavilion. The children had prepared a song in Spanish and a choreographed dance with which they greeted the Pope. The scene emotionally affected the First Lady of the country, who was sitting next to the President behind the Pope. Then Father Pedro Peca spoke. He's a missionary from the Congregation of the Mission, founded by St. Vincent de Paul. He was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for helping thousands of people out of extreme poverty in this city. He explained to the Pope that Akamasoa began thanks to faith, work, school, reciprocal respect and discipline. He was always convinced that these people were able to get out of misery. Ici, c'était un lieu de exclusion, de souffrance, de violence, de mort. Après 30 ans, la divine providence a créé un oasis d'espérance où les enfants ont retrouvé leur dignité. Les jeunes ont repris le chemin de l'école. Les parents se sont mis à travailler pour préparer un avenir à leurs enfants. A girl told him about the activities they do and then handed the Pope some gifts from their mothers. The Pope recognized that Akamasoa is a city of hope, proving poverty can be overcome. Le vostre grida generate dal non poter più vivere senza un tetto Vedere i figli crescere nella malnutrizione, non avere un lavoro, generate dallo sguardo indifferente, per non dire sprezzante, di molti, si sono trasformati in canti di speranza per voi e per tutti quelli che vi guardano. Ogni angolo di questi quartieri, ogni scuola o dispensario è un canto di speranza che smentisce the Pope also greeted the superior of the Congregation of the Mission, Thomas Maverick, who accompanied him during his visit. When he was ready to leave, a girl handed the Pope a surprise. Before leaving, Pope Francis turned to look at them for the last time. Then Father Pedro Peca accompanied the Pope through the streets of Akamasoa in the Pope-mobile to a huge quarry where many of its inhabitants work. Here, the Pope greeted some of the workers. They told him they've been smashing granite for 30 years just to make a living. Pope Francis then prayed for the workers, for the children forced to work, for the entrepreneurs, and for those without work. This left the enthusiastic people who couldn't control shoving at times. Then he toured the entire area in the Pope Mobile. He was very happy, and it's a day he will probably never forget. Pope Francis will embark on an intense journey through Africa. Do you know his motives? Follow his best moments day by day straight from your cell phone. With the Rome Report's premium app, it's easy and convenient for anyone. In addition, you can watch exclusive documentaries about the Pope and the Church. Rome Reports Premium, news you can trust.